Hey guys, uh, this video is a simple Q&A video on some uh, questions that you guys have been asking about this thing. Uh, let's see, that's where it's at sitting right now. This white engine is not what's going to be going on it. That's just a simple little mock-up engine that's, uh, I think it's like a three horsepower, I think, something like that. Um, this is not made for kids. This is made for adults. You can see the size of the seating area. Uh, it's 13 inches wide, so uh, definitely an adult will be riding this. And uh, the tires are big at 22 by 11 by 8 inch rim there. Uh, I ordered another hub from Burkhorst Manufacturing and it's on its way and uh, that'll it'll have bearings in it. The front end of this, the way the uh, forks are going to be, well, the way they're made isn't going to be no big big of a deal as what this will be made out of, and not made out of, but the way it's made. You guys might get a kick out of that. Uh, my next steps, uh, what I'll be doing here is uh, I'll be building a neck for it, or a, a uh, the rake and the forks and stuff like that for it and uh, yeah let me sit on this thing and show you well, I don't know if yeah, I don't know that's look that looks a little too bright but I don't know hopefully you guys can see this yeah too much of that background uh, we'll try this out First, we'll sit on it like that. I'll probably maybe put the tank right here, don't know yet, but literally from this point right here on back will be all seat, and then right back here will be a rack to put stuff on. Uh, <coughs> this area right here will have another rack that comes up out, out here, about, about right at about there, so we'll put stuff there. Uh, I'll show you how wide this is. Hopefully this will... had a few of you ask me about how... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's too much sun out here. Should have waited. But, uh... Those are coffee cans. That's about six and a half, six and three quarters inches high off the ground. <coughs> yeah, I've gotten a lot of PMs over the years of people asking me to build stuff that would be for bigger adults. And I thought, well, why not? You know, this will definitely be built for adults. Cause just because the seating area is just so wide that even Allie sitting on it, her legs, you know, stick out the sides. You know, she can't she can't straddle this thing. This thing is just specifically for adults. So people with bigger butts. <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe I should. It would also be a good build for people who got, you know, big tires sitting outside. Don't know what to do with their old tires. So far it's coming out pretty nice. It's going to look like some type of military thing by the time I'm done. But the engine that will be going on this will be coming off of the Manco. That engine right there is what will be going on it. Maybe that torque converter. That's my Chinese torque converter. I don't know. Got last 4th of July. We were, we had a bunch of people over, ripping it around on the go-karts. See that? what happened there? 
busted. Broke the damn thing. You can see that I've welded angle iron on there before. The reason that breaks is because these mancos, the chassis, is designed to flex when you go over bumps. And when the frame is bolted too tightly to, you know, when the roll cage is bolted too tightly to the frame, it doesn't allow that to flex. So, you know, I've got this, I had it bolted too tight and everything, and, and see, I've, it's broken here before. You can see that's broke. Because the frame will flex. But the chassis don't, or the roll cage don't flex. It cracks, breaks the steel. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, engine that will be going on this. These tires came off the Batmobile. So I'm going to have to buy new tires if I'm going to keep this thing together. Um, oh, Mower Pro 144 had asked me about his setup. And how he has his setup is he has um, the... Uh, he's got a pulley on his engine and a pulley down on the... on his axle. And he has a... Uh, idler gear that's going to push, or not idler gear, but an idler pulley that's going to push against the belt. He's trying to figure out a way to do it. Well, if I were you, what I would do is what they did on the Murray here, or Murray, on the Manco, is you see the brake right here? The brake has a solid rod that goes right down to the foot pedal. That's what it is. What you might want to do is if you've got that idler pulley that pushes against the belt, you could run uh, a solid bar on there that'll pull it. You know, make, you might want to make it a little longer so you've got more leverage, but solid bar pulling on it. And then in the front, you'd have like some type of little handle thing that, that's going to engage it, push against it, pull it, pull it back, and it pushes the pulley gear right into the belt because you really don't want a, a, a foot pedal operating that thing you don't want that because then you'll have three pedals you have your brake your gas and your uh, clutch pretty much is what it's going to be is a clutch pedal and you don't want that so what you'll want is uh, something to do with your hand So, yeah, that way you can just snap it into gear, or actually snap it, snap it into pressure, and it'll start working. That's pretty much what it'll, what you'll, what I would do if I were you. But uh, yeah, so those are some of the questions I've been getting from you guys. Where'd I get the tires? What type of engine I'm using on this thing? Uh, it is a 6.5. That max uh, max power is what it's called, or power max actually. It's actually one of. Uh, <clears throat> Max's, Max Tools older engines and uh, they're, they're changing their damn names on their engines so much I don't understand why the hell they're doing it but anyways yeah so that's what it is that's the way it looks once the frame most of the frame is done but there's a few other little things that I got to do up front here and like I said the front end uh, will be done but how I connect the tire to there will be pretty interesting some linkages and stuff uh, let me see here, some concerns. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have enough room for a chain right there. chain will probably be on this side. Or maybe this side, I don't know. I have to take the motor off and start doing all my alignment and stuff. But one of the last things that I'll be doing is cutting the axle. Remember when I told you I have to cut my axle down? That's what I'm going to be doing. Measure everything out so I know exactly what I'm doing, where everything is going to be placed before I cut that axle. Because, you know, it's, once you do it, it's done. That's it. <laughs> but, yeah. Here, let me put this down in front so I can see what it looks like in the front.
one tough dog had asked me if uh, if this bottom frame was going to be too wide. Well, I'm going to have to put foot, foot pieces on right here. Coming out so far so your feet can go on this. You know, something coming out. But it should give me enough room to be able to turn and lean. Yeah, it's going to be a bigger thing. It's going to be something for adults, not for kids. Yeah. guys so that's it on that um, if you have any more questions or anything like that oh wait I'm gonna show you guys the program Here. okay well this is the program that I use it's called SolidWorks uh, this is an older version of it and uh, I can take my parts pan it look at it this right here what you're looking at is an assembly um, I've got multiple parts I've got the top part I've got the neck placement right there. I can zoom in on it. Use a little mouse roller. It tells me what the dimension is, uh, what part it is. See, I can click on it. And you can see this thing here. And this here is the tree, your feature tree. And you can see the highlighted part. I can click on that, and the whole part gets illuminated. You can uh, back up. I can pan it, let you know, rotate my part. Uh, neat little thing that this uh, thing does is I can, if I had a complex, if I had everything all set up, I can actually take my model and I can cut it in half. See that plane of space right there? Turn around to the rear. And I can take my material and I can cut my material in half and look at my parts individually. See that? Pretty cool, huh? This program uh, has a learning curve of about four years. But uh, this program is. Uh, let me turn that off. Um, come up here and I can go into all my parts 14.5 crossbar this here is the bar that I use that's 14 inches 14 and a half inches long um, that's the front upright part that's right behind the front tire um, you always start out with a sketch. I can throw in my dimensions on how big I want my sketch to be. What my angles are. Sizes. All that kind of stuff. And then... Uh, put in the size of steel that I want. Now the problem with that was that when I first got this, this size of steel, one by one, a .095 wall thickness was not part of the standard program, so I had to design that. I had to build all that up and save it as a special feature in, in the system and actually create that specific uh, pattern. So let me show you, a, a, throw something out here quick. Let's create um, a simple part. Uh, I need to choose whether I build it on the on the right plane, the top plane, or the front plane. Let's build it on the front plane. I'm going to come up here to sketch. 
click on sketch. I've got different things here. I've got line, polygon, re rectangle. Let's try doing a polygon. And it shows me all, you know, it'll tell me how many sides do I want, uh, the angles, and all sorts of crap. Start from the center here. I'm going to pull it out. Uh, now from the center to where my little cursor is at is 3.93 inches. So let's say I pull it out to whatever that is. I can't see it. Uh, let me grab it. Make it slightly bigger. Okay, now I put in the dimensions. Uh, say I want it to be lengthwise all the way across. Okay, it says that it's 17 inches. Let's say I want to make it 18. Type in 1, 8. Click OK. Okay, now I've got 18 inches there. I'm going to click. That's what I want. I'm going to finalize it. Now you can see how that picture is. Now I'm going to come over here to my feature dimension. Click on that. And I already have it set up for 1 by 1 by 0.095 wall thickness. And all I have to do is click on the line. Brink. 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 Now you'll see where the sketch is at is the green line with the little pink nodes. But let's say I want it to be adjusted to the outside. So I'm going to locate my profile. You can see the pattern, the little square pattern. And I'm going to come up here to my specific node that I want it to be adjusted at. Click there, pan out, and I can see that the outside now is the 18 inches across. So, now I'm going to come up here, hit OK, blink, and there's my part. I've got a fully six-sided, one-by-one-inch square tubing thing. <laughs> and I know that since I adjusted the parameters where the sketch was at, from this point to that point is 18 inches. That would mean that from this outside point to that outside point, I'm talking. Can I get a video too? Yep. I'm Hi, people. <laughs> Do you want to tell people what you did to your hands? I scraped them on my sister's monkey bar at the school. Yep. He was climbing around on the monkey bars. And I made it all the way to the end. That was my first time. Whoa. Congratulations. You made it all the way across the monkey bars, huh? Yeah, and I was hanging on to high. I and my legs were going side to side. That's good. That's good. I heard Mommy yell for you. Okay, talk later. Bye, Daddy. See ya. Love you, too. And there we go. So certain, you know, this, what I just showed you here is real simple and easy to slap together. But when it comes to what I'm doing with the, uh, oh, come on now, where'd you go? See, these are all the parts that I have set up here. All the things that are running right now. I've got, uh, uh, the distance and the dimensioning, dimensions for the whole frame and everything. Um... Front upright, that one. You know, I got a lot of stuff operating at the same time. But the cool thing about this is that let's say if I had a part, uh, let's say this part right here, which is the rear part, the rear upright, if I were to change the dimensions in this thing, it would, and then I were to save it. I wouldn't have to close this down and reopen up my assembly, which is, and this is the part right here. That's the part that I just showed you. If I were to make that bar right there longer in the part section that I just showed you, then it would automatically propagate over to this assembly. So I wouldn't have to close that program, delete this part right here, and then pull in a new part this part right here would automatically be done. Now that's kind of a cool feature, but yeah, at the same time it can also be a pain in the ass because if I'm screwing around with a part and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, you know, and I, 
click on it and it asks me to save and I'm not thinking I click OK, then what happens is my features are saved and then all of a sudden everything gets screwed up. You know, this part can be saved and be changed and I don't even realize it until I go to print off the plans and it's like, oh crap! So, yeah, this is a pretty, it's a pretty neat program. I mean, this totally dwarfs um, MS Paint, I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, it's a great program. And, uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't ask me or PM me or anything like that for a copy of this program because uh, uh, I'm not even supposed to have it either. So it's one of those things where I don't give this thing away because uh, this software automatically updates. Uh, it'll automatically link itself onto the Internet and log in to uh, the company's website, and that's not good. So, yeah. Uh, and you can get in a lot of trouble. So that's why I've got it sitting here on my laptop, which is not connected to the Internet whenever I'm on this program. So, yeah. But that's it. This is SolidWorks right here. Neat little program. Yep. Okay, guys. Well, I'll talk at you later. I thought I'd do this quick video of these answers, these simple little Q&A video for you. All right. Well... Bye-bye. i got to get back out there and start working on this thing. So I'll see you later.